Isn't it great when you can look out at a beautiful bay filled with boats and say to yourself, wow, that one's mine. Isn't she fantastic? That's a special feeling that comes from owning a windy boat, one of the highest quality, most seaworthy and sought after sports cruisers available today. I'm here arriving at Windy's Southern Norway production facility to give you an insight into some of the reasons why Windy's have become so sought after. Norway is famous for its rugged and exposed coastline that spread a nation of seafarers. From the Vikings, who conquered many parts of the world in their famous longships, to, in more recent times, explorers such as Tor Hardal, who crossed the Pacific with the Kontiki expedition. Today, no less than one in every seven of Norway's population are boat owners, many using their boats daily. To put it simply, the people who build windies are boat builders, not just workers on a production line, but people who have a real feeling for the sea and a genuine understanding why build quality and attention to detail will always be the key essentials in boat construction. That's a real comfort next time you're caught out in conditions that make your heart beat rather more than you'd like it to. A windy boat is special. It's not just churned off a production line, it's lovingly handcrafted by skilled craftsmen. So let's just see what makes these boats so unique. Firstly, let's have a look at this Windy 35 Kamsin. This is a typical example of Windy's design philosophy. First of all, you can see this really fine entry, a really deep V-hull, which runs right the way through to the back of the boat. This enables the craft to literally slice through a steep head sea. These spray rails, which also run right the way aft, plus the flare, cast the water aside, which keeps the people on board dry and comfortable. The difference between Windy and other products is quite simple, really. Stand at the front of the boat and you can see. Deep V hull, lots of flare, and the hull sides are angled in. This puts you in control in rough weather. Balance, low centre of gravity and strength of construction are really important. In a windy boat, the weight is concentrated in the bottom of the hull, which makes the boat more stable. For example, you can see just how thick this section taken from the bottom of the hull is whilst above the water line, which needs to be light, Windy are using a high-tech sandwich construction, which you can see here. This is immensely strong, but really light, keeping the weight in the bottom. In the engine compartment, everything is logically laid out for easy access. For example, these are your main fuel filters. This is your hot water system. This is your hydraulic pump. Batteries located either side, circuit breakers, battery charger. And very importantly, there's plenty of space in front of the engines and also access either side. This is really critical. After all, when your engineer comes to do his annual service, it's vital that he has good access. At least then you have a chance he's going to do the job really well. Moving forward, if you look at the bulkhead, you can see just how well this is bonded in and how strong it is, rather than the practice which is often used to just dropping bulkheads in and putting filler in. These hull sides are painted with gel coat, which keeps water penetration out. Also, the fuel tank is low again for the center of gravity. This inspection cover enables you to easily gain access to the shut-off valve so as to get the balance and low centre of gravity right. This water tank and holding tank are located in the middle of the boat. They're also shaped so they follow the shape of the hull, keeping the weight as low as possible. And 
If you're interested what these sections are, well, they're strengthening sections which run the length of the boat. As I've said, Windy is a premium product. It's designed and built for those who really understand and appreciate quality. You can look at the windshield, for example. It's tough and safety glass, so when you look through here, there are no ripples on the curved section. The stainless steel screen top has a grab rail, which follows right the way around, very robust, so you feel secure. The joints are beautifully finished and on the outside you'll see there's a channel. So the canopy studs, rather than just being screwed in, can be adjusted. The reason for this is quite simple. If you come to change your canopy in 12 years time and need to make any minor adjustments, then at least you'll know the canopy will fit. Moving aft, there's a beautifully finished wet bar. Again, really high quality mouldings and just to the right of it, yet another grab handle. And behind the wet bar, a cockpit step. And then underneath, two drinks holders in stainless steel. How neat is that? The cockpit table is trademark windy. Solid wood finish, high gloss lacquer, which is really weather resistant. At the helm position, two things are immediately apparent. Firstly, you have great all-round visibility, and secondly, all the instruments are very logically laid out. For example, on the port side, you have the port engine instruments, and again, on the starboard side, those for the starboard engine. Throttle controls, very comfortable position. For the co-pilot, you'll see there's a really substantial grab rail, and chart table, which can also be easily read by the helmsman. Plus, of course, as you'd expect from a windy, holder for a can of coke, one for the helmsman. On deck, you'll see substantial cleats with the edges rounded so you don't stub your toes on them. Another feature is the non-slip deck, custom-made anchor winch system, and importantly, this capstan is covered. More accidents happen by people catching their fingers where the chain runs out. So what Windy do, they make a nice neat cover so everything is flush. Lift this section up, Put your hand underneath and you'll find everything is finished exactly the same as above. Now that's the mark of a boat builder, not a production worker, but a boat builder. As we said before, windies are about quality, both in the areas you can see and also in the areas that are hidden. Now, down below on this 44, you'll see, for example, soft headlinings. Now, these are important because they keep the noise level down, but also, more importantly, they're light. When you come to the woodwork, this is proper wood, not plastic laminate or chipboard, but real wood. So here's some more of the hidden detail. You can see just how well these pumps are all fitted, all with strainers. 
these two pipes, one hot, one cold, have valves on them. So if you want to empty off the tanks in winter, then you can easily drain off all the water from the system. So you start with fresh for the new year. And in the aft cabin, let's have a look at how the seacocks are fitted. When you remove the loose carpet in the aft cabin, you can get access to the seacocks. You'll see on the seacocks several important things. Firstly, there are two Jubilee clips for safety. The other point is that each of these Jubilee clips has a little blue plastic cover over the sharp bit. Simple, but a real safety feature. Again, everything is smooth in the bilge. The finish is just as good under here as above. No sharp edges, and again, painted with gel coat to avoid water penetration. We've talked about sea keeping, ride and comfort, but did you know Windies are class leaders in fuel efficiency? This comes from not only their more efficient hull designs, but also weight savings. Like a Formula One racing car, the trick is to have a lighter weight but increased strength of construction. To achieve this, Windy on their 40 foot model use the very latest technology in vacuum moulding. This saves as much as 30% in weight compared with conventional methods, but more importantly gives a stronger, higher quality and more rigid hull and deck. That's why Windy publish on their website Volvo's independent fuel consumption figures. So next time a salesman quotes you consumption figures, ask to see Volvo's independent tests which use flow meters and then you'll appreciate just how much less fuel a Windy will use. So you've decided to invest in Windy's quality and design and are naturally interested in residual values. Well here's the logical answer. Windies are designed and built for the long term. Beautifully finished with a quality which is proven to last. Models over 40 years old are still in use and being admired. So when someone comes to buy a 10 year old Windy, the boat still looks current, well finished and has decades of life left. And that's why residual values are so strong. Boating offers many different challenges. The sea can be a hostile environment as well as a wonderful one. That's why making the right choice is so important. Windy boats are a premium product, designed, conceived and constructed to take care of you and your family whilst at sea, enabling everyone on board to gain the maximum enjoyment afloat over the years to come. An investment in Windy quality is an investment for the future. After all, in life, you get exactly what you pay for. <laughs>